Since I was a little boy, I've been passionate by the creepy, crawly world, catching butterflies for years, amazed by their beauty. Later, taking small pictures of very small insects, often in very uncomfortable positions. With my degree in agriculture sciences, I've learned to know and respect the soil biodiversity, especially the earthworms, and their huge role in the natural nutrient recycling process. Driven by the desire to contribute to a more sustainable food system, I co-founded in 2007 an NGO to raise awareness about the benefits of earthworms and insects as bio-waste recycling systems. To have more impact, in 2011, we co-founded with my colleagues Fabrice, Jean Gribrel, and Alexis, insects delivering premium natural feed from farm insects. But not any type of insects. Beetles, mealworm beetles, the insect of choice for premium natural feed. Because the growing world population is asking for more and better food and then more premium protein for animal feed. Fish meal is there, the benchmark, but with limited availability and sustainability issues. Mealworm could help to fill the growing gap of the fish meal supply. Why? Because mealworm is a natural feed for wild animals. Because mealworm is also very sustainable. Uh, for instance, each ton of mealworm saves more than four tons of wild forage fish. So how do we do that? Imagine a fully automated vertical indoor farming facility. We have 18 patents. It's absolutely unique. We have proven our technology at scale with this demo plant in France with real commercial sales. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. <laughs> Competition is growing. Insect has a clear leadership in the premium protein segment with high pro product quality, high technology scalability, improved fish performance with health benefits. For instance, for shrimps, 35% weight gain and 40% mortality reduction. It's huge. So we have a great team to make all that possible with unique talents and know-how. And our common goal is to produce 1 million tons per year of premium mealworm proteins with 15 plants by 2027. We are raising Series C fund, which is structured for superior returns and low moderate risk with strong potential exit via IPO. Dear investors in the rooms, I hope Sunday you'll join us to build a fantastic business globally. Thank you. What are the benefits of mealworm over black soldier flies? <laughs> they are different. <laughs> different market, different strategies different business models. We target really the premium segment, which is really huge. Uh, we are talking about uh, between the fish meal, squid, krill, and the growing gap, more than 18 billion market. And we think the mealworm has the best chance to go in this market because of the composition, 72% proteins, uh, because also of the scalability and then being able to be price competitive with the fish meal or similar to the price of the fish meal. Uh, and because we have proven with many trials, I told about shrimps, but we have like 5% mortality in salmon, 5% growth increase with salmon, always replacing super prime fish meal Peru with our mealworm meal. Um, also, even on, on chicken, we've shown on rainbow trout, more than 30% uh, body weight gain. And this is the only product that has shown so many beneficial uh, effects when you replace to fish meal. So really, we are in this premium segment. There are other insects, other alternatives with different strategies. Everyone will go to the market. But we think we have a, a great possibility to go massively also with the technology uh, for this premium, just to size the growing gap, even not competing with fish meat. We, are not, we want just to add more product. Can you, um, can you talk a little bit about the, the social impact of the company and specifically um, beyond job creation, if there are other social impacts that stand out from this opportunity? 
social impacts are they're different or dif different for indeed uh, job creation in Europe where uh, you don't produce this kind of premium prote uh, proteins today we have we have this plant in France and we are building a much bigger plant so next year uh, and then we are going to expand in Europe and also North America and there are not this kind of product uh, in this area so we are reduce also uh, uh, transportation and create local jobs so this is one uh, uh, one thing uh, I could talk about also our management strategy in the team and how we make also social uh, uh, benefits for the team to grow in terms of responsibilities, etc. It's uh, you, uh, hours of discussion, I think, on, on, on management. Um, and then uh, other social, uh, just the thing to reduce the pressure on, on the fish stocks by avoiding to, to go to more complex and difficult sources of fish wild forest fish, for instance, in Africa or in Southeast Asia, with very big issues in terms of food, feed food competitions. Uh, also, uh, with issues with, with human work quality. Uh, yeah, we are, we are not competing, but again, we will help to reduce more fish meal to, to go in difficult conditions, I think. Yeah, um, going back to what we saw in one of the early charts of cost of fish meal, how what's the cost of what will the cost of this product be vis-a-vis -vis similar amounts of fish meal that you would need to use to get the same growth uh, i will not speak about cost but price uh, to the feed manufacturers uh, the thing is that we are competitive with the highest qualities of super prime fish uh, fish meal from peru but with some premium because we have always shown better higher benefits with all animal compared to this already super prime fish, Peru fish meal. So it's slightly more expensive, but fish manufacturers, we are working with all the world leaders in Europe, especially for salmon, um, but also in Asia, uh, and, and they can make the formula with this product because they can also save other ingredients, and eventually it works very well, especially for the first market they address, which is more the juveniles. But even with a big factory producing tens of thousands of tons, it will be still in drop in the ocean. When we will reach maybe one million tons, anyway, with time, maybe the, the, the price will go slightly down and, and, and catch totally with the fish meal. But today, we have, it's, a, it's a new product with new properties and in, in a good range to be uh, in the in fin ingredients uh, mix. Is, fi is fish your primary market or animal protein or other animals? Which, no. wh wh where, where are you going to focus? The first market is pet food in Europe. Uh, the demo plant we have, we sell in pet food, cats and dogs, for the first reason being regulation in Europe. After the MATCO disease and the feed ban uh, 20 years ago, all animal proteins were banned. So we could only access, when we started the business, to the pet food. So we, we joined together with uh, our colleague uh, main competitors to create an, a lobbying association and to work with the, the European Commission to see how to, to evolve the regulation. And in July, after three years of discussions, they opened the fish fin market only, so salmon, rainbow trout. Uh, the other markets are still forbidden in, ch in chick chicken, piglets, etc. We think there is uh, still interesting stuff, but there are so much to do already in fish and in pets. And we will see a bit later in the second stage, like for piglets and chicks, and are using also fish meal, especially in China, uh, which will be a good uh, uh, growth uh, possibility as a second step. But already salmon shrimp, huge. Thank you, Antoine. That's it? Thank you very much.